We're again back at the pre-85. Pre-85. We are. And what we're going to look at is Gary Glitter, what these guys call Gary Glitter. It's an EML. What size stroke we run on this thing? Uh, it's an um, 880. An 880. It was a 750 kit? or um, It um, came from the UK with an 840 kit. And um, when I blew it up <laughs> the once, first time, <laughs> yeah, we decided to do a rephase and uh, put a big ball kit on it to cool. 880. So you phased the two pistons to run 277 degrees. 277, beautiful. Yep. Okay, and that's was that running that before or was it just running a no, standard config? No, it was um, 360 before. Yep. So it's same bottom end, new top end. Mm -hmm. You just phased it. Yep. Um, did you phase it yourself or did someone else do that for you? Um, my friend Matt Maloney did the crankshaft oh, for me. Oh, good old Matt Maloney. Rest. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he's a bit of an engineering genius yeah. at some points. Uh, but this is the original frame. Yes. Uh, obviously, original 70s kind of get up. Yeah, it's a 1981 model. Oh, and it's rebuilt. Okay. So it's a bit behind your time with the glitter. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's rebuilt in the UK for the, um, a German uh, Grand Prix yep. or Twin Shocks yep. um, by uh, Paul Bowsley, who lives in Reading in the UK. And um, he put it up for sale and I bought it. Now I remember at the 20, uh, what is it now, 14 bolt nutrients title? Yes. Batteries. Yes. Talk to me, did you resolve that problem? I have, yep. Because you put a new ignition in it and it had a little bit of grief, you couldn't right. quite figure it out yep. and it ended up being a 50 dollar battery. Yep. I don't use standard batteries anymore, I use a moto bat yep. now, which is... Um, Always got, carry too. Yeah, it's got um, little uh, panels in between the plates so they yep. don't collapse oh, and cause any okay. drama, so yeah. Um, both from Queensland? Yes. You drove down? Uh, flew. Fle you flew, you drew. Yeah, yeah they, Dave, Dave what, and... How does that work? Oh, well, Dave and Helen, uh, they, they're... Uh, they're working, doing the tourist thing, weren't they? Working in the mines and they had, had the week, so uh, luckily for us, they <clears throat> took the time to come down in the car. A uh, nice trailer here behind us. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so... Uh, we, Debbie and I run our own business, so we had to leave two o'clock yesterday. Jump on a plane. Shh, we're here. I love fly-ins. I've done it a few times. Yeah. You hope and pray they've got everything you need, but yeah. it's beautiful just doing the rock star, yeah. isn't it? Just, it is. Hello. Yes. Let's yes. ride, and then whoosh, four yeah. o'clock. He can wash the bike. I'm out of here. And uh, the way we're going, we we'll win a bit of prize money. We might helicopter it back to exactly. the airport. Exactly. Right? Well, you're currently, I reckon, in the top three, so you're going to podium at least. Uh, let's. We we came wishing, praying for a podium. Uh, thinking never a chance, yes. but uh, we're, we're on the money. You're, you're the pretty much in the money. Yeah, we're yeah. definitely in the money, and um, where you finish is uh, uh, up to you, Yeah. really. Um, Murray Williams Cup, you'd probably be the leading we bike at the moment. We are currently, yeah. Uh, we're getting very good starts. Yep. Uh, we're having a, we're having a bit of fun with the with the uh, moderns in the first corner, as as you'll <laughs> notice. As here. a test, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, a bit of push and shove there. Um, some of the moderns are very very quick, um, and they've got the suspension. We're we're yeah. running pre eighty five mm. and we're wallowing away out there. But so you're running a four or five inch inch on the rear, the uh, travel. Yeah, uh, don't quote me on the exact. Don't, you still length, got leaders, so yeah. you've got at least seven inch you can run the front legally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're not running a, so it's an air-cooled motor, so you're really just running an, an oil cooler in this. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And you're running, well, obviously 36 mil carbs, 34 mil carbs. 34s. Beautiful. Mm. So, s keep it simple. Yeah. Uh, usually works, uh, I, I think, uh, for most times. Yeah. Yeah. What I did want to say is that the Murray Williams Cup, people didn't understand it, is all the eras racing back to back to back. So for you guys to be even competing with the moderns is uh, excellent. Yeah. But the way you guys turned around from the first one to the, the next uh, yeah. race, yeah. I think it's what got you. The other guys got a bit caught out, you know, they're huffing and puffing and yeah. they didn't get their turnarounds and you guys were gone and they're still trying to kickstart yeah, bikes. So. They got us back on the last leg. Yes. We, we, missed the, uh, we missed the flag and um, we were still putting our gloves on when the, when the mm, gate dropped. Don't so we're, do it. Always be yeah, prepared. Well, we, we were waiting for a 30 second call or something, but nothing came and we missed it. So anyway... We're uh, we're putting in a no. We're not going to put in a protest. <laughs> I don't do protests at this time of day, but that's okay. <laughs> Anything you want to tell me about this bike that's um, the standout? What what do you love about riding this? Oh, just everything fits. It's when you sit on it, everything feels like it's meant to be where it is, and, and, so and that, it's just a beautiful that's not a standard EML seat tank combo. Right. It's a it's a mock up that they did in England. Yes. And it works very very well for David. It's sort of modern. It's um, it, yeah, as you can see from Rocky's old bike over there, that's how it should be. Yep. Um, how different is this from the Jumbos? Um, heavy. Heavier? It's still heavy. Yep. Yes. Because they actually had airbag kilos. ones too for a while, or they had at least one yeah. that had an airbag yeah, in the rear. Yeah, a torsion bar. Yeah. And well, there's also a torsion bar that the EML tried. The torsion bar was going from the uh, swing arm there to the swing arm here. So it would tip in? Yes. 
it, when when the back wheel or the sidecar goes down, the back squats with it, so it, you don't get the the walking. Like coming down the main straight here, which is a bit scary. Yep. But yeah. legally, you can still run modern shocks. So yeah. you're obviously running some sort of no, Rigas no, or copies. No, these are the Holcos from the day. Oh, really? Yeah, just had them rebuilt. Beautiful. So, you don't see that often because most people kind of just go, you know, what well, they're a consumable part, which they can be the bin. You're obviously also running that original disc too, um, yeah. which is good to see. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We, um, the, yeah, the brakes. If anything on the bike, it, we're trying to run, keep it simple, keep it standard. There's no point in having classic as on the classic. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, it's you, a bit, you're kidding yourselves. Bit of a shock when you roll up on the start line and um, the boys next to you got a twin pot Brembo set up or something, and you're hanging away yeah. in the same class. Yeah. Or, but anyway, hey, look, we come for fun. Yep. Um, well, you've travelled a long way. Queensland is not a, a, a small, well, for you, a, a little flight. It's yeah, not, no, but, but 22 hours on the road, and you're telling yeah. me it's taken you five days to get here? Yeah, because we made a few stops along the way, visit, made some visits with some uh, old friends we haven't seen yes, for a while. Yes. So, and the yeah. floods have been uh, obviously playing yeah, a bit of havoc. A couple of detours. People, but you yeah. uh, take the long, long, the long way around. Yep. But it's good that you can uh, come with your friends and your family and do a bit of a trip. That's yep. right. Um, with a two-day event, at least yep. it's not all down here for one. Yep. I spoke to Rocky earlier about you know how to get the right mix. It's often hard to get everyone in the one state yeah. um, and make it financially viable. So at That's some right. point, someone's got to... Yeah, take the bucket, right. and it's unfortunately it's you guys this year, yep. um, but if they're running prize money, which they are, so it's thank that's goodness right. the sponsors have chucked a few bucks in, yeah, that might at least sponsors, tip awesome. in a bit of money for the, yep. like you said, the petrol yep. on the way home. It's great to come here and do some racing. Yes. We uh, we race with the vintage motocross up there, and we will sit around all day and maybe do three races. Yeah. When we come here for a weekend, you're in. You're, yeah. you're racing. <laughs> and it's back to back, and it's, yeah. Yeah, it's everything. Yeah. So who's your biggest competition this weekend? Obviously Maloney's going... I would yeah. say fairly well. He's our competition. I reckon your dark horse well, is Brian so, yeah. Anthony yeah. Yes. on that, that thing. If he can get that thing running, he's a, he's a he trouble. He's had a DNF in one heat. Yeah, the first race he did finish, he but did. I thought he did he come top of field here, the last one? Uh, yes, he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so he's um, back a pack and, uh, and a 25 pointer. So. Yeah. But you guys, uh, you've already got the 25 25s and you've got the, the money in the bank, so. We'll um, see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that pans out. Yeah, it is. And Dave and I have yeah, been racing together for a few years and, and we have this uh, little knack of, of uh, pinching a few things it, because yeah. we're just always consistently there and. Well, people forget consistency is what wins races, uh, you know, and being at the start line is the first thing, and you don't get to the start line without being prepared. So the amount of time and effort you guys yep. put together to even get here, yep. that's going to hold you 90% in the running for how you're going to perform on the field. Pretty much. Um, unless you're unlucky yep. out there, you most, can't control that. Most races are won in the shed. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you, guys. Um, we'll Thank be back with something much, else Gary. soon. All Thank right. you.